Hello everyone and welcome back to Command Block Central. Here I have for you a fully functioning version of Tetris, built in vanilla Minecraft using command blocks and functions. There are no mods, no texture packs, nothing of any kind other than what is available within the current version of Minecraft Java Edition. My goal with this project was to build a version of Tetris that is as close to the original game as possible. And with that said, let's jump right in and go over some of the game's mechanics. So I'm actually using the keyboard to move and rotate the pieces. A and D to move left and right, W to rotate, and S to soft drop the piece. I did this by positioning the player in a central location, then having a command block detect if the player moves ever so slightly forward, backward, left, or right. If they move right, for example, a command block will detect this, run the move right command for the piece on the board, then teleport the player back to the central location. Same goes for the player moving any of the other three directions. I have found that this is way easier than using item frames and detecting when the item in the frame is rotated to run the move rotate commands for the pieces on the board. I tried to keep the game board display as close to the NES version as possible. You'll notice on the left, the stats column, keeping track of how many times a specific shape is used. And on the right, a line counter, which I'm still working on, the score under that, what shape is coming up next, and displaying what level you are on. After doing some research on the scoring system for Tetris, I found that it was actually a lot more complicated than I thought. On the Tetris wiki, I found that recent versions of Tetris score based on not only how many lines you clear, but how many times you rotate a piece, T-spins and mini T-spins, whatever those are, back-to-back -back line clear multipliers, combos, and, e and even how many cells you soft drop or hard drop a piece. I felt that coding this with command blocks was going to be way beyond my capabilities, so I decided to go with the original BPS scoring system. This scores 40 points for one line, 100 points for two lines, 300 points for three lines, and 1200 points for a Tetris, or four lines. Or in other words, a much more manageable scoring system in my version of Tetris. Most, if not all, versions of Tetris will remove all completed lines at the same time. I haven't quite figured out how to do this yet, so my version just removes the lines one at a time from top to bottom, then adds to your score based on how many lines you clear. It is much slower than the original version of Tetris, but it is what it is. Collision detection was a tough one. I not only had to detect when a piece was on the edge of the game screen, but if a piece was next to a locked piece that was already on the game board. Also, what about rotating pieces? If a rotating piece was going to overlap the edge of the screen or a locked piece, I needed a way to detect this and disable rotating until the piece was clear and could rotate without hitting anything. This was by far the most time consuming aspect of the game, but with a lot of trial and error, blood, sweat, and tears, I was able to get collision detection to function properly. The Tetris experience would not be complete without the iconic music that plays in the background. For this, I was able to create Tetris Theme A in MC Composer and import it into my Tetris world. Now I can listen to the music while I play the game. Minecraft is no doubt one of the most amazing games I have ever played. I have already built so many cool things using command blocks and feel that I haven't even scratched the surface in terms of what it is capable of. I have seen so many incredible videos out there of redstone and command block projects that just inspire me to keep pushing the limits of what is possible in vanilla Minecraft. I started this channel not knowing what to expect, but knew I wanted to share my Minecraft creations with the world. I recently hit 250 subscribers and have so many command block project ideas I want you all to be a part of. So what do you say? Are you with me? Do you want to keep seeing Minecraft projects like this one? If so, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because Command Block Central is just getting started.